what we've always wanted is to know enough about cancer that we could define some characteristic of the cancer cell that would prove to be an Achilles heel for the cancer. And uh, advances in biology uh, have allowed us to find certain characteristics. And again, we, we're, it's no way it's perfect, but there are some great examples where this has happened. I think the classic example of this is the Philadelphia chromosome in chronic myelogenous leukemia and the molecular consequences of that chromosomal rearrangement. Um, and we've tried to replicate that in other cancers and, and particularly in solid tumors. This abstract, in, in essence, did that. And it also took those kind of forward-thinking ideas and put them into a clinical trial. So instead of the usual clinical trials where any patient with any kind of cancer goes on a clinical trial, in this trial, patients only went on if they had the eml 4 l translocation. This is a uh, fusion uh, gene which uh, gives rise to a aberrant protein that uh, constitutively you know, activates a tyrosine kinase. Uh, and again, just like uh, uh, imatinib working in the uh, BCR ABL kinase uh, activated cancers, in this case, it is a, a new drug, crizotinib, uh, that also is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, and it particularly blocks the kinase uh, that uh, is activated by this fusion gene. So every patient in this phase one trial had tissue, had it tested for uh, the ML4 out translocation. Only those patients that had it went on the trial, and lo and behold, nine out of 10 had some response, and the, uh, the major response rate was about 60%.